Good morning champions, Chris here back again this week and as promised last week I'm going to have a quick chat to you about food labels in a sec. Um, so that's going to take up most of the video today so for the members buckle up because this is going to be real quick. Firstly fitness evaluation Saturday, city to bay breakfast on Sunday, uh, next step health and wellness the group I'm involved with we've extended our early bird price till Sunday as well. True Grit Night Attack is coming up um, and yeah jump on that so what you need to do is click on the Google short link and head across to the website and uh, all the details are there, all the links for all the bits and pieces. And just one other reminder too, um, for all of spring, my referral bonus is doubled. So for those that are not sure, didn't watch last week's video or the week before's, um, uh, if someone you refer comes along and joins, you will receive $50 credit off your next um, training invoice. And so will they. So you don't feel so awkward about saying come along I get some I get a kickback you can say come along I get a kickback and so do you so 50 bucks each and congratulations to Karen for bringing her friend Julie along Julie and Karen both got their 50 bucks credit off their invoices at the beginning of this month so just remind about that anyway getting into food labels so firstly before I um and get stuck into that uh, a couple of disclaimers one i'm not a nutritionist i'm, I'm a pt so i'm not going to be telling you about what you should or shouldn't eat um merely just offering a bit of a different perspective and maybe um uh, i guess trying to inspire some curiosity about um and add a little bit of information as well for yourself so um if you want to know what you should and shouldn't eat you need to be speaking to a nutritionist and if you want to know a real good one then you need to speak to my friend Helen. Anyway, moving right along. So um, what is it about food labels? What's the important part to look at and what things are you looking for? Well, initially when I first learnt about nutrition, um, the Australian government or the Nutrition Association or whoever it is, recommend you eat a certain number of certain serves of food. So um, two serves of fruit, five serves of veg, a certain number of serves of protein, a certain number of serves of carbohydrates and that sort of thing. But um, the interesting part comes in what makes up a serve. Now, I'm just going to flip this uh, camera around if I can work out how to do it. Don't know if I can do it now that I'm now that I'm live. Touch the screen. Nothing's happening. Oh, I'm going to have to show. You. It's probably going to be backwards. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that or if it's backwards. So, on the nutrition label, <clears throat> you can see on that one whether it's backwards or not. The bottom section has all the ingredients, and the top section has the um, nutrition information. So. The, I used to get a bit caught up with the nutrition information side of it and I would look at, uh, try and work out what makes up a serve of a certain food. So as an example, um, now don't quote me on the numbers, but a serve of carbohydrate works out to be uh, about 70 calories, I think, or something like that, 160 kilojoules, thereabouts, and um, about 20 grams of carbohydrate. Um, so when you look at a nutrition panel like that, you want to try and work out how many serves of whatever is in it. Now this one says per serve there are 159 calories, so that's two serves of carbohydrate if it has enough carbs in it. There's 5.9 grams of protein. In a serve of protein, I think there's 25 to 30 grams, so it's nowhere near a serve of protein. Go down to carbohydrates, and there's 9.2 grams of carbohydrate. Hey, Tom, I got your text a second ago. I was just about to go live on the news. Nice to have you jump on board. Um, feel free to comment if you've got anything to add. Um, or invite any anybody else along. So carbohydrate, this has 9.2. This is um, a snack that you might buy, processed product, might buy from the supermarket. Um, so to have a serve of carbohydrate, it needs to have about 20 grams, I think. Again, don't quote me on the numbers, but this falls well short. So when you see that it's got 159 calories and only nine grams of carb and seven grams of protein, there's a lot of empty calories in there. So you're not getting anything for those calories, although that's a, you know, some would say a relatively nutritious snack. Um, but that's not the important part. Again, as I was saying before, I uh, initially would get caught up with the top section, um, or in this case, it's the top section, all the nutritional information, trying to work out how many serves of protein, carbs, fruit, veg, dairy, whatever was, was in the particular product. Um, not so much the important place to look. Um, what some people may not know, um, fairly common knowledge, I think, but what some people may not know, when you get to the ingredients section of what's in a product, so now this one I'm looking at is um, chia seeds. Now this is probably gonna be backwards. I can't figure out how to flip the camera around um, now that I've started the video. You used to be able to, but not anymore. So um, again, when you look at the nutrition information, on here, it'll tell you um, what's contained in there, such as protein, fat, saturated fat, trans fat, and polyunsaturated fat, omegas, uh, threes and sixes, really good source of omegas, chia seeds. Don't know what's happened to the weather. It was beautiful and sunny here a second ago. And um, then how much fiber and sodium, and then all your minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, so all that sort of stuff. Now, um, 
when it comes to that side, that section of the panel, your body knows what to do with all that stuff. Hopefully you can still hear me, all right? It's a mini cyclone coming right over. <laughs> Four seasons in one day. Welcome to Adelaide weather. Um, so that's not so much the important part that most people really need to know about or be looking at. Um, the important part uh, that you want to look for is in the ingredients. Now, where the ingredients are, um, on this one, it is down here. Again, you probably won't be able to read that, so it's down here. Now, the ingredients in this particular product says 100% uh, chia seed and then the uh, botanical name for it, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. So, so that's what's in that, 100% chia seeds. Um, now, when they put, um, I think there's uh, labelling guidelines, when they put, um, uh, make a claim as to what's on there, they have to put the percentage of what's on there, just like on the, the previous one. Um, it says there's 55% peanuts and so on and so on. So 100% chia seeds. So you know that's a whole real food, that, that chia seeds, because the, um, where the ingredients list is, says um, uh, what's, what the contents of. Just the same with this um, maca root powder. If you watched my smoothie video the other day, this is something which I normally stick in my smoothies. Goodness me, it's starting to rain now. <laughs> the show must go on. Um, and this again in the ingredients says 100% pure certified organic maca root powder. So that comes from a plant which grows in the Andes and they dry it and crush the root and that's where you get the powder from. Um, so again, 100% of the whole and real food. I've got labels blowing everywhere here. So next one, um, this is something that um, I had to rob this off the kids. So Smith's potato chips, if you look on the back it says Smith's original crinkle cut potato chips. So because it says it's got potato in it, they have to tell you what percentage is on there. So then in this one, um, tell a lie, it's not even on there, or well, not where I'm looking anyway. So again, um, a lot of empty calories in a product like this. Um, energy, 617 kilojoules per serve, if you're looking at the, the top section. But the important part in the ingredients, this is maybe not as bad as you would think. So this is the ingredients list right here. And it tells you it's got potatoes. Now. Um, the important thing, probably the most important thing, g'day H, hello from Victoria, do you like our weather? It's fantastic, you should have been here a couple of minutes ago, it's beautiful and sunny. Um, so on the label it says, um, in the ingredients section, whatever comes first, there is most of, and then it goes down in quantity as we move on from there. So this has potatoes, sunflower oil, canola oil, and salt. So that to me says, I'm real, that's what I am. Um, I can pronounce all those words and get to that in a minute, but you know what's in there, so it's not parading as anything, it's, it's chips and there's um, a bit of oil and fat and that sort of thing, um, good fat, bad fat, who knows. Um, but then moving on to something um, a little bit different, another, another one I had to rob from the kids um, is everybody's favourite Doritos. Now whenever I have Doritos I only ever have just one, what about you? Um, so again, the nutrition information is the same, tells you all sorts of stuff about how much sodium, potassium, and all those sorts of things, um, and how many calories, and what do we got? 15 grams of carbs per serve, and 586 kilojoules, so still not even close to uh, a serve of carbohydrate. Far too many, the, the calories or kilojoules to carbohydrate ratio is, is way out. But then this is really nasty. When you look at the ingredients list up here, you can see it's as long as your arm, First thing is corn, which you did want to be because it says it's corn chips. Then vegetable oil, cheese powder, cheese powder, not sure what that exactly is. Salt, which you'd think is sodium. Buttermilk powder, wheat flour, whey protein concentrate, tomato powder, flavor enhancers. Mmm, flavor enhancers, 621, 631, 627. So that's um, where you start to get, that's not a real food, that's something they've added to the product. So that's in the process of processing and to preserve and make it taste better. They add this stuff in. Onion powder, whey powder, garlic powder, dextrose, which I think is another name for sugar, I might be wrong. Then it says sugar, so there's doubled up on the sugar there. Natural flavour, okay, wonder what that is. Mineral salt 339, so again, that sounds like it's something that's um, produced rather than grown or that sort of thing. Then food acids, lactic acid, citric acid, spice. So you can see there's a whole range of things on it. I still haven't got to the end. There's a couple of colours in there as well. So far from a whole real food. Now, the nasty thing about that sort of thing, and if you look on most packaged products, when you start to get things like flavor enhancers with numbers after it, all those things are added afterwards or added in part of the process. Now, uh, you might recall a couple of weeks ago, I spoke a little bit about hormones um, and their relationship to storing body fat and all that sort of thing. Now, when you look at uh, that type of product that's got all those numbers and stuff, 
Those are what I've learnt by listening to uh, Dr. Libby Weaver. Um, those are what they call hormone disruptors. Now, really important that all your hormones work, work properly so you burn fat correctly and all that sort of stuff. And when, when you eat something, it's processed correctly, goes through your body and your body can get what it needs out of it. Add all that processed stuff and that's something that disrupts your hormones. So whether it's cortisol or ghrelin, leptin, all those sorts of things. So that stuff just purely mucks up your hormones and that's more where the problem is than the calories to um, carbohydrates or protein ratio. So those are some things that you can look out for on um, on food labels. Again, look for stuff that's um, look for stuff that doesn't have a food label. Try and pick up a peak chunk of broccoli or something and see see the food label for that one. So when it comes to all the minerals and all that sort of stuff in in broccoli, it doesn't need to be listed because what you're getting is a piece of broccoli. When you eat it, your body knows what to do with it because there's nothing disrupting it. Take something like like Doritos, n nothing against Doritos. Again, try have just one. Um, something like Doritos that's got stuff added and it's highly processed, all those things will disrupt your hormones and stop your body doing what it's supposed to be doing. Hello, Rosie, you've missed all the chat, but I'm sure you can watch back from the start and I'd be really interested in um, any comments or anything that you might have to add and I'll probably catch you tonight anyway. But yeah, so those are some things to look for um, on food labels. One is um, don't worry so much about all the vitamins, minerals, and all that stuff that's in it, because your body knows what to do with that. Just get a balanced diet of um, a wide range of whole and real foods um, and fresh as possible. Obviously, sometimes convenience can take over a little bit, but when you're looking for convenience and something in a packet, look for stuff that has a minimal number of all those flavor enhancers and preservatives and additives and all that sort of stuff. So um, there's a helpful tip. If you can think of anything that I've missed or got any comments you'd like to make about food labels or if you're a nutritionist and you've been watching this and you need to, <laughs> need to make comment, feel free. Look, I'd love to be corrected if there's any information that I've given out that's incorrect, but that's just my perspective on um, some information that you might find handy. And, um, just spreading a little bit of awareness about food labels. So if you found that interesting and you know someone that might benefit from what I've said or that perspective, I'd love it if you'd share it around or tag them in the post or whatever. And again, if you want the news, click on the Google short link and that's about it. If there's anything else you want to know about and want me to delve into, i um, got a head full of information up there. Not all useful, but it's all up there. Um, I'd love to share it. So anything you want to know about, give us, a, give us a hoy and I'll think of another topic to bring up in the next month or so and we can have a chat about that one as well. Thanks for joining the chat. I'll catch you outdoors somewhere real soon and don't forget to unleash your greatness. See you later.